Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, I'm the French Fry King. In the last episode we went over to the kitchen once again, and we collected, I think it was like three more stars? I don't know, it's been a little while since we were, since I recorded this series, and I actually only we were about there, but it's no big deal. So this episode we're actually, did it again, this episode we're actually going to be heading back over there, collect more stars, um, not sure what order, we're not going to finish it up, but because we still have a few stars to collect in each galaxy, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And some of you guys might be wondering, hey, you recorded Destiny last, so the next one that comes in is Sonic Adventure DX, that's the order, right? And that is true, but I have some news about the future of Sonic Adventure DX. I will no longer be doing that. Simply because I don't feel like doing it anymore. Like, I'm really not enjoying playing that series. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell by the way that I'm talking and how I sound while playing the game. I'm not enjoying the game. And I thought I would be enjoying it a lot more. It was like a really fun game as I was a kid. And... I don't know why, but no, I actually, I know exactly why, because the game doesn't really hold up, and it's one of those games that you thought was so awesome when you were a kid, and then when you grow up and you actually see that it's not as good as you thought. Like, a good example of those is, like, all of the, like, movie-based games and stuff like that, except for the Spider-Man ones, the original ones. I've never played the Amazing Spider-Man games, but from what I've heard, they're not good. But, like, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2... Those games are good, but all the other movie-based games, like, um, Shrek, <laughs> I don't know, those all suck, and when you were a kid, you thought they were so good, and then you realize how bad they really are as after you grow up and you realize what actually makes a good game and what makes a bad game, and another example of that is when I played Nicktoons Unite and Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island when I was a kid. I used to think those games were so fun when I was younger, like probably around like seven, eight years old, around then. And now I realize that they're not that great because they're um, TV sh um, show based games. And a lot of times when games are based off of like movies or TV shows or something like that, they end up not being that good. Um. However, one game that I think was complete, the complete opposite was, um, it started out as a good game, but then it had a TV show made after it, and then the TV show was terrible, which is Tack and the Power of Juju. I absolutely love that game series, at least the first three, like Mojo Mistake, I never played that one, and I think there was one on the 3DS, um, I never played that one either, but from what I've heard, it's not that great. From people that I know, I've heard of playing that game. I haven't played them myself because I've never got my hands on them. But not a huge deal. I don't really plan on playing them anyway because I do realize that they're not as good as the original three. Um, but those three games were amazing. Tack, Tack and the Power of Juju, Tack to the Staff of Dream, and Tack the Great Juju Challenge are all amazing games. If you haven't played them, I suggest that you pick them up. Them, you can get them on GameCube, PS2, and the original Xbox. So, if you can find them for either one of those systems, you should be good. But the TV show for Tack and the Power of Juju is terrible. I don't know why I thought it was such a good show when I was younger, back in elementary school when I saw it for the first time. And now I realize how bad it really is because it does suck. Anyway, we just got um, this star right here. This is a green star. The first out of three. Now, this is the type of star that I was talking about that Luigi's gonna find one of them. Yeah, Luigi's gonna find another green one. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumens about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. So basically, when we collect all three of these green power stars, then it will actually unlock this launch star over here with this green luma and we can actually um launch or fly away hold on let me see if i can turn the camera around and look up 
and no, I can't. So, I was gonna try to look at the where we're supposed to, where it takes you, but talk to this woman. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the star, the launch star doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. Yeah, so we need to find the other two green stars. Now, in Mario Galaxy 2, I know there is like many of them, and we can look at them. Right there, it takes us to that little planet thing right there, and those are the trial galaxies, and those will probably be the the last things that I do, even after the final boss, because there is stuff that you can do after fighting the final boss. So, yeah, we have a letter from Luigi. Hey. What a coincidence, this is actually the next green star that we actually have to go collect. Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me, from Luigi. Huh? Um, that is in the Battle Rock Galaxy Toad, so we'll go out there, there right now. And it's good. But I kind of went off topic there when I started talking about Tack and the Power of Juju and stuff like that. But um, basically what I was saying is that Sonic Adventure DX will be no more. I'm going to delete all the videos off of the channel. Simply because I'm not very happy with them. And it's also the least viewed series on this channel as well. And I'm not going to be like, oh no, it doesn't have views, that's why I'm quitting. It's just, I'm not enjoying it, and plus it doesn't seem like you guys are enjoying it either. So, what's the point of doing a Let's Play that I'm not enjoying, and also you're not enjoying as well? So that's why I'm going to take it down, and I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably just have Mario Galaxy and Destiny going up, and that will probably be the only two Let's Plays on this channel. At least for a while, because... Doing three Let's Plays at a time is kind of tough. It does take a lot. And I like to think that I've actually been handling it kind of well and actually been doing three Let's Plays at one time pretty well. But it is a lot of work. And I don't have all the time in the world to be recording videos and stuff like that. Well, I can... Most of the time I just record one... Sorry. Most of the time I just record one video a day and then just keep going like just rotate between games and stuff like that if like I recorded Mario Galaxy one day then the next day would be Destiny and then the next day would be Sonic and that's just how it went but I'm just really not enjoying Sonic Adventure DX as much as I thought I would and it's really because it's not that great of a game really like I said it's one of those games that I thought was really awesome when I was a kid but now growing up and I understand what really makes a good game and what makes a bad game, I understand that it's really not all that great. I'm not saying it's a bad game. For anybody that, if you are like a hardcore fan of that game, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying that it doesn't necessarily hold up compared to the newer Sonic games, such as Colors or Generations, which those are like two of the best ones right there. Like. There's pretty much like a debate on whether Colors is the best one or Generations is the best one. Which, if you ask me, Colors is my favorite, and I just recently got Sonic Generations, and I haven't played too much of it yet, so I can't necessarily give a good enough opinion on which one is better. But from what I heard, Generations seems to get a lot better reviews and stuff like that. But the thing is, is that Colors is like a whole new idea it's got like whole new levels and stuff like that and generations basically what generations is that it's basically like they got a whole bunch of old sonic levels and stuff like that and remade them that's what it is but colors is its own brand new game brand new thing and the thing with generations like how it's all just remade levels and stuff like that that did cause people to kind of be a little upset with it because they're like oh I want I like this and it's cool how they remade all this but I would like a new game or new levels as well as, as having all these brand new levels and Luigi's right there so it will help him and we are going to die but yeah that's I'm not gonna talk about that too much anymore I think I've pretty much explained exactly why I don't want to do that let's play anymore it's a good game but it's not an amazing game and I will do other Sonic games in the future, like Colors. I was thinking about doing Colors, 
but I don't want to be doing the same let's play that Crispy D is doing right now because that's exactly what he's doing and I want to kind of differentiate what games I'm playing. I don't want to play things that are different than him. I will do colors at one point, but not right now. Wah! I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. What are you talking about, Luigi? I worked hard to get here. I could have just left you here. Yeah, yeah, you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. What does it matter if you found it or not, Luigi? Like, I'm the one taking it back, and plus, we're supposed to be working together to save Peach, aren't we? Not, I didn't think it was a competition to see who could collect the most stars. Because if that's it, if it's a competition, then I'm obviously winning because I've already collected most of the stars. And you've collected two? And we have like, what, 36, 37 stars now? Yeah, so I've collected 35 out of the stars, Luigi, and you've collected two. I'm not gonna save Rick just yet. At 11 minutes, I think we can go ahead and squeeze one more star in. And if we go a little bit over 15 minutes, then that's okay. As long as we're not going like 20 minutes and stuff like that. And uh, I can always just stop playing and end the episode if we're going a little too far. If it's taking us a little too long to complete a level. I don't think it will take us that long. We got two of them now. And the last um, green star, we're going to find that in the next dome. So... I'll let you know when we actually are getting ready to go fight um fight it i'll get you let you know when we're actually going to collect it but for now we're going to focus on finishing up the kitchen because we don't have anything else to do unless luigi finds some more stars which i'm not sure i think he'll find a couple more but not a whole bunch more let's go back up here and i believe i'm not sure which one we went to last but Let's just go to the Beach Bowl Galaxy, because I really like the Beach Bowl Galaxy. And, um... We're going to go and collect the third star. And this one shouldn't take us that long. Secret Undersea Cavern. Okay, I know exactly what this level is. And, um... Yeah, we need to go there. And there's actually a comet that actually, like, speeds up the enemies. And... It's at this level. And then, like, as you saw, like, the womp things were moving around. It makes those guys go really fast. And it can be really kind of difficult, actually. So, um, we're not there yet. But once that comet comes around, we will actually do that level. And so, right now, what we need to do is we need to first go swimming. Dive into the water. And then, let's grab this Koopa shell right here. Hit this. So, this area opens up. And then, we'll swim all the way to the top. And then there should be something to actually teleport us away. Alright, let's just make our way through here. Start it. Um, I'm not going to worry so much about them because we're about to end up, so we got two minutes. Like I said, if I go over a little bit over 15, it's not that bad. Like, if I, like, Destiny yesterday was like a 17 minute video or something like that. That's alright, it's just that like, once I get to like 20 minutes, then it starts to become a problem and I'm like, eh, I don't like doing that. Because, I don't like recording for 20 minutes, necessarily. I prefer 15 minute videos, and I don't necessarily like to watch videos that are over 30 or 20 minutes either. So, I'm pretty sure that you guys wouldn't necessarily want to watch a person like me just sitting here and playing a game for 20 minutes that's kind of a long time now if you're watching versus that's a whole nother story because versus i'm pretty much okay with watching that for 30 minutes and i don't know what it is about it, but it's just it's versus that's why it's so cool to watch okay this guy is coming after me <laughs> but if you guys don't know what versus is it's basically these two guys attacking two cans and josh jepson and what they do is that they play a game like say Mario Galaxy or Mario Sunshine or something like that and then basically they just see who can finish the game fastest and then there's rules to the actual battle and whoever wins is the winner obviously and then whoever loses has to do some sort of challenge or something like that or something for punishment because they lost and it's always funny to see what the loser has to do. Like, there was one where, like, one of the guys had to, like, 
drink like a mixture of a whole bunch of different um, drinks and stuff like that. It was supposed to be like the different color um, paints that you have to clean up in Super Mario Sunshine. And then one of them had to get like wax strips um, put onto his legs and then ripped off. That had nothing to do with the game. It was just simply they thought of that. And then one of them had, and then he also had to like mix up a whole bunch of different ingredients and then make a smoothie out of it and drink it. And that was funny. But they got some funny stuff, and that's why I like watching those videos for 30 minutes. They always do 30 minutes for that. Plus, when you're doing that, you have to make it like a good amount of time where they can actually get things done. Because talking and playing a game does get difficult at times. And a lot of times in the episodes, you see they only get like maybe one or two like shine sprites in Mario Galaxy or Mario Sunshine, sorry. And I died. Uh, no, I didn't die, but I fell. Anyway, that's enough talk about that because it was 16 minutes. So we're going to end the episode right here. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you'll be notified of whenever I release new videos like this. And I have a second channel. It's called Chicken Nuggets, which I. Pretty sure I'm actually going to be continuing. Last episode, I said that I wasn't going to, or I might not, but I am going to. So don't worry about that. Go subscribe to that channel. Link in the description, and it'll also be in on the screen. There will be an annotation. You can click on that as well. So again, thank you all for watching. And until next time, you guys. I've been the French Fry King, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.